This place is super special. So this just happened. We ended up at a really beautiful camp spot tonight and uh, we are enjoying the sun which is about to set. We are here in a arctic beach kind of area. But first, let's rewind 10 hours to see how we ended up at this one of a kind camp spot. We started the day having breakfast with our German friends in Lofoten. Our Husky Zulu was of course a part of the crew. We are here in a arctic beach kind of area with some lovely flowers in the background and this campsite has a few tricks up its sleeve and I'm gonna show you them, I think you're gonna enjoy them. It's super special. Take a look at this. Hello. <laughs> I really hope this translates into the video because this place is super special. I mean, you got a full on bar here for yourself. And there is a fireplace and yeah, wow, just. And it's open, it's based on trust. So of course use it if you want, leave it in a better state than you found it and it's for all of us to enjoy. I love finding places like these. Wow, so cool. That wasn't enough. Check out this thing. the outdoor cinema.
jumped on the ferry. We need to do a short um, boat ride before we can proceed on, and that's one of the good things about driving uh, in Norway. It's that you often have to jump on a ferry and you get a little uh, break with some uh, fresh nice, air, nice pastries, and fresh air, and especially on days like these. So nice. If you ever take a ferry in Norway, you should buy the Svela. It's like a thick, fluffy, wooden pancake. Yeah. You get it with Brunos, which is like a sweet cheese. We only have it in Norway. It's a true ferry tradition, so yeah. you gotta have one. And uh, we have a few more hours to drive today, so this is so nice. Get some sunlight and some fresh air before we head back into our warm van with mm -hmm. no AC. <laughs> We ended up spending the night at this really beautiful beach. We have so many good childhood memories from this place, as we both have family from this area. Sadly, we can't stay for longer as we need to continue our journey north. We made it to Senja. We figured let's just head straight to the mountains and so we did. So we are halfway up a little um, mountain ridge we saw from the road. Figured that looks nice. Let's just hike up that one. So <laughs> there's no trail here. We are just climbing up some loose rocks. It's a bit sketchy to be honest. I wouldn't recommend it, but yeah, the views I think would be worth it. Zulu is hot. When the sun is so strong, Sulu goes crazy and starts digging herself these mud caves where she is able to cool down. Look at her snout. Sulu, I know you. The only one who's tired. <laughs> Think we, we should go further up? Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Um. So it's starting to become very airy here. 
Look at this. intense. You might have seen from the footage, it was pretty airy and pretty spectacular. I was a bit scared a few times, I will admit it, but of course it was safe or else I wouldn't have done it. But it was pretty, pretty cool, I think. That looked sick. Yeah, and it was also some birds that flew up and they wanted, uh, I think it was under a meter away from me. Oh, it scared me big time. <laughs> Well, anyway, we need to head down. We have another uh, planned hike, so... The one we were actually supposed to do. This was just a spontaneous one. Yeah, it's we a bonus, drove bonus by hike. Couldn't resist going. And I also think Sulu needs a bath. Yeah. A swim, because it's really, really hot. Mission accomplished. Right now we're on our way to the hike that we came to Zanya to do. We don't want to miss out on the beautiful sunset. So that's why we're a bit out of breath. We're going really quick. Yeah, that just happened. This trail is so muddy. <laughs> right here is good. But let's just say the walkway coverage isn't 100%. It looks pretty sick though. Looks like I'm in the army. I'm in one with nature now. Or at least my leg is. We're about halfway. <laughs> the views are starting to sink in. And our goal is up there. And the sun will no longer be hidden. We got this one. We just summited Husfjelle, this mountain peak. It's uh, 630 something meters high. And uh, we have a tradition. It's take a cup of coffee and some chocolate when we do so. So cheers. And here's to waiting for the sun to set and I can't wait to shoot this place, it's epic in every direction. Estimated to use around two hours and we used one hour and five minutes, so yeah. happy with that. And the effort uh, paid off. Now we can relax on the top. <laughs> <laughs> kind of nice. <gasps> So if you made it this far, you should definitely like and subscribe for more van life and travel videos. This was like this really good camp spot. Ah, turns out it wasn't. 
we, we got robbed. I'm just really, really, really happy. Our van hasn't had any hiccups after the one you probably saw early on. Yeah. So he's been acting like a champ. 